Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hello everybody, my name is Heather. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I am also a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, The Real Real Thread Up. If you're a previous subscriber, I know that was out of order, sorry. Uh, homeschool mom of two kids, volleyball coach, volleyball player, love Disney. So for some reason, my Mercari page on my computer is not loading up. It made me reset my password. And then now it says unable to contact API, whatever that means. I just had a few sales on Mercari. I'm gonna try to remember them off the top of my head. Otherwise, I'll just like try to post in the pictures over here. I know one was a Michael Kors quilted tote that I got in a thread up name brand rescue box. I think that sold for 50, super, super quick. Um, so I did take a lower offer. I also sold a Dooney and Burke, that canvas large tote that I got from another, I think it's the same box actually. And that sold for 40. I sold, what was the other things? I know there's a couple more things. Ugh, I can't remember them. My memory is horrible. Uh, yeah, so I'll just put them over here and you guys can see the other couple things I sold in Mercari. Um, also on Facebook Marketplace, I made one sale. It was a Lily Pulitzer Jungle Toil Top. I just listed this and someone bought it for full price for $35. Okay, I will go on to eBay. My mom and my sister are texting me because we just found out some Disney news. If you're a Disney fan, um, on October 19th, you can start paying extra to skip the line, which that used to be the fast pass system. And if you stayed on property, you got a benefit of using the fast pass system. Now got to pay extra, of course. So I'm trying to kind of convince them to do it because of course, first I was like, no, I'm not paying anything more. It's so expensive. And then I saw that like, you can skip the line. I mean, you can only do it once per day, but I'm like, this could save us hours. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to convince them, but um, I think we can still be strategic about it and not have to worry too much about waiting in long lines. So anyway, if you see me swiping up, I'm either swiping away their texts or something like that. Okay, eBay. First thing I sold was this Levi's gray pullover crew neck sweatshirt. It said California on it, had a picture of a beach. It sold for my full asking price of $26.88. Next was a Coach Women's Getaway Nylon Crossbody Purse. This came to me in a Coach Thread Up Rescue Box, I believe, and this sold also for my full asking price of $45.88. Next is a pair of JBU duck boots. These were... Um, this is kind of a brand, I think, from Jambu, and just the classic duck boot style. They were short ones, and they sold for $20. Next was a Polo Ralph Lauren checkered long sleeve button-up. This came from a men's sort of rescue box a super long time ago. Button-ups move super slow for me, usually in most brands like this, and it sold for eight. <laughs> Next was the brand Lamb by Gwen Stefani. This was a oversized silk pocket tunic top in a size zero, and this sold for $53.88. I sold this Sundance red floral long sleeve top pretty quickly, I think within about a week or two for $20. This Vineyard Vines men's shirt sold super quick in under five minutes. It was in a size XXL, which I think made a big difference. It was a gray long sleeve shirt and it sold for 19. Next was this pair of Paige jeans. These sold super quick for me as well. They were the Edgemont gray zipper detailed jeans and they sold for $22. Next, Next was a Victoria's Secret swimsuit. This um, was animal print, rainbow, very uh, small amount of fabric. Uh, it sold for 21. I actually had this for quite a long time, so I did let it go for quite a bit lower, but that person ended up sending me tons of offers, but really, really low, like $5 offers and $30 items and like on tons of things. I ended up, I don't know, I was like not in the mood that day. And so I messaged her back and I basically just like, I didn't go off like super mean, but I was like, this is my small business and sending this low of offers is actually really rude. And kind of just like put it out there. And she did message me back and she said I wasn't trying to be rude. I feel like I tried to like end it nicely, but I was just like, don't go doing this to people all the time because it was really bad. And she kept trying to counter offer, but she never even got to 50% of what I was asking. I'm like, lady get a hint. I just kept declining them. Anyway, whatever. I sold her the swimsuit and at least she paid for that. Next was a pair of American Eagle high rise jeggings. These were in a size too short and they sold for $18. I sold a soft surroundings, teal black flannel, faux leather, buffalo check plaid top. This sold for $25. Next was a pair of Eileen Fisher tan linen tensile drawstring pull on pants. I just got these recently. They were in a size extra small and they sold for $35. 
I sold these Lululemon black fashion free crop leggings in a size four. Those sold for 30. Next was a pair of silver jeans. Whenever I have been getting silver jeans in a plus size, like a 14 or above, they have been selling very quickly. These were ankle crop boyfriend jeans and they sold for $26 within a couple of hours, I think. Um, next was a pair of Allegria shoes. These were like a nursing comfort clog size 38 and these sold for $32. I sold this pair of Hudson Collin black skinny jeans in a size 26. These sold very quickly and they sold for $30 and 88 cents. My full asking price. I sold this Michael Kors brown leather, nope, black leather, small wristlet. This came to be in a thread up name brand box. I think it was my accessory and that sold for 20. This coach purse came from a thread up coach rescue box and this was the brown signature Carly hobo bag. This sold for $45. Here is another item from a thread up designer box. I actually got two of them this week. So I'm so, so excited. Um, these were the Prada white leather square toe pumps. These sold for $75. I sold these Levi's 311 shaping skinny jeans in a size 32. These sold for $20. Next was an Anthropology Florite Kimono. This was floral, one size, I think. Uh, very cute, it sold pretty quickly for $30. And then I sold these Levi's Black Wedgie Straight Crop Jeans in a size 31, these sold for $28. This sold super quick, it was the brand Inus Crafts. It was an ivory wool fisherman chunky knit cardigan sweater and it sold for $54, so that was amazing. Okay, and that's it for eBay. Let's go on to Poshmark. The first thing I sold, I'm trying to do this a little quicker than normal, so hopefully it doesn't feel rushed, but like I took a really long nap and we're supposed to be heading to my mother-in-law's for dinner. It's 5.17. I didn't film this morning. I was taking stats from a video I had to watch at my volleyball game because my assistant couldn't come. Then I went shopping, so kind of just like running out of time. Okay, Poshmark, made well. Medium wash, high riser, skinny jeans. These sold for 20. Levi's 721, high rise, skinny jeans, dark wash, sold for 20. This was a new Calvin, Con Calvin Klein bra. This came to me in a thread up fun box and that sold for 15. I sold another pair of Levi's. These were the 720 mid rise super skinny jeans in black. They sold for $24. Next was a pair of Prada boots. I got these quite a while ago from a consignment store when they were doing their end of winter clearance. I think I paid 20 or 25 for these and they sold for $91. Another pair of Levi's 710 Super Skinny Jeans, size 26 tall, I wrote. It didn't say that, but the inseam was really long. They sold for 30. Lululemon Black Razorback Tank Top, this is in a size 8, sold for 18. These Spanx sold within minutes. They were the faux leather high-rise leggings. I paid $18 for these at a consignment store, but I sold them within minutes, like I said, for $45. So that's worth it to me because I knew it would be a fast flip. Next was a Soft Surroundings Red Callista Jacket. This was just in, I think, a haul video. So I just got it and it sold for 20. I sold these Sorel Suede Cheerling Line Slippers. I didn't realize till I got home that there was like this little tab on the top part by like the top middle of your foot that was ripped off. So I had to list them for lower and they sold for 18. Next was a Patagonia Gray Capoline Base Layer Top in a size extra large. This sold for $20. Mm, sorry. Next was a Harley Davidson top. I thought this would be better. It was like with bravado, Kansas City, but it sat for a super long time and someone offered me 10, so I just went ahead and took that. I sold the Sonia Raquel black patent leather shoulder purse for 30. I mean, I thought it would do better than that because I think that brand is really expensive, but comps weren't really that great, so I just let it go. Next was an Under Armour white qualifier quarter zip jacket in a size large. This sold for $22. I sold these Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor High Top Sneakers. These were all black in a size eight and they sold for my full asking price of $35. Next was the brand Chaser, which I don't pick up all the time, but this had a cute graphic. It said Easy Tiger on it. It was in a size medium and it sold for 25. I sold these Levi's Dark Wash Skinny Overalls. These were super tiny in a size 23 and they sold for $20. I had them for quite a while, so glad to move them. I don't know if you can hear my son freaking out. He bought a new skin on Fortnite with his Poshmark profit money so but hey he is putting away 90% in his savings to buy a truck when he gets 16 so I let him keep out 10% for spending and he's been making some good sales so he wanted to get a card at Walmart to buy a Fortnite skin so you know type life of a 13 year old reseller 
Next was a new J. Crew puffer coat. I actually thought about keeping this myself and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I sold it for $121. So that was amazing. I got that at a consignment store on their clearance rack for I think 20 or $25. So super great sale. This pair of good American jeans sold for my full asking price of $50. They were the good legs, high rise distressed jeans. Here's that Kate Spade purse. If you remember from last week when the person opened up a case, guess what? They let her return it, which is stupid. I got it. There was like maybe the tiniest, like one or two sequins missing on the corner. And I opened it up and of course there is no, what did she say? She said stuff was coming out, like disintegrating and coming out. It was perfectly clean. So she lied. I don't know why. Buyer's remorse or something. But I relisted on a Poshmark only and it sold for $55 like in a day. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But I guess I still have those Vionic shoes. Next was a pair of Miss Me jeans, bling pocket, medium wash straight. They sold for $30. They still sell sometimes. So if you can find them cheap, pick them up. Lululemon gray space dye spandex bike shorts. I found out the um, style name after the fact I listed them and I never went back and changed it. They sold for 28. This was a vintage Lucky Brand cross pullover hoodie. It was in a size medium and it sold for $20. Next was a bundle. It was a bundle of three things. One was a Cacique purple cooling French full coverage bra, fit flop silver slide sandals, and a Cacique pineapple print two piece tankini. And this sold for $65. So that was a great bundle. I always like making bundle sales. Next was a pair of new Zara high rise button wide leg pants. These sold for $25. I sold this pair of Adidas men's track pants. I think my brother didn't want them. He said they don't do that good for him, but I still got them anyway. And I sold them for $25. Some things can sell different for different people. I sold this intimately free people, white, make it easy, thin turtleneck sweater for nine. And why I sold it for nine is because when I got home, it had a stain on it and I didn't see it at the store. I listed it really low. I still made like six or $5 off of it. So that's fine with me. I sold this Victoria's Secret Peach Plunge Seamless Bra. Usually the plunge bras do really well, but I've had this for literally probably over a year and I finally sold it for $11. Next was a We The Free Star Henley Top Oversize. I've also had this for a really long time. I think it was even new with tags. Finally sold it for 20. Next is a pair of American Eagle Super High Rise Button Fly Skinny Jeans in a size 10 long. These sold for 18. I sold this cabbie black Turner three quarter sleeve blazer in a size 12 for 20. Next was a polo Ralph Lauren pink cashmere blend v-neck sweater. I did put Y2K in the title and it sold for $20. I sold these Under Armour navy blue drawstring jogger pants in a size small for $17. And the last thing I sold was a pair of Sorel Joan of Arctic faux fur snow winter boots for $65. That was my sales guys. I hope your sales have been good. Let me know down below what your best flip was this week. Mine was definitely that J Crew code. That's where I made the most profit. And I'll see you guys Sunday. I think I might've ordered a random shoe box from ThreadUp because I was like not finding anything I wanted. So I think that's gonna be Sunday's video. So be on the lookout for that. Like I said, again, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.